Welcome Extreme Home Arcade owners. This is a tutorial video on how to bring in your most recent update for LaunchBox Big Box. So when you're connected to the internet, you're eventually at some point probably gonna get an image that pops up um, when you have your machine up and running that says official LaunchBox update. Uh, for those that wanna do the update right away, just hit your player one start and it's gonna start the update process. Don't hit cancel or anything like that. Um, otherwise, we're going to have to do it manually, which I'm going to show you how to do that as well. Um, so for those that you hit no potentially, or for those that have started the update and hit cancel um, and aren't able to re relaunch Big Box, or um, potentially maybe their screen might go black, things like that, um, we're going to get back into that update and get you back up and running. So first things first, um, if we want to update this manually, we want to get back to the desktop. So there's a few ways to do that. We can bring up our taskbar and close out big box that way. So if you have the shift function, you hold down your shift player two joystick up. For those that don't have that shift function is going to be your player one start with your player two joystick up. And then you're going to use your trackball and mouse clicks. You're going to come down. You're going to find that big box emblem down here, hover over that right click and close all windows. That'll get you back to your desktop that way. Um, you can exit out manually too by holding down your shift function and player two start or those that don't have that shift function, your player one start with your player two start to exit. Um, and if in, you're in a different file folder, you might have to just exit a couple times and you'll eventually get back to this big box settings screen and we're just going to go down to exit and hit player one start and then that'll get us back to our desktop. From here we're going to come down to the taskbar down here we're looking for the file explorer the manila folder we're going to click on that we're going to come over to the left here we're looking for launch box click on that now we're going to come down looking for updates double click on that and there's might be a few updates in here. Um, you can delete the older ones if you want. You can leave them there. That's up to you. Um, what we're looking for is the most recent update. Um, so again, look for the date. And again, you want that most recent one that's there. Once you find that, double click. And then now it's just going to start the update process. So you select your language user agreement you want to accept that just telling you we're going to put uh, launch box in our administrator file just leave that uh, it's just going to make a start menu folder for us hit next just explaining to you what we just did there and now we're just going to hit install now it's going to start the install process um, this is probably going to take up at about 30 seconds or so don't hit cancel Otherwise, you're going to have to restart this update process over again. Um, just let it do its thing. Eventually, when it's done doing the update, um, doing it this way, it, it'll, it's probably just going to end up launching LaunchBox for us, which isn't a big deal. If you do it the other way and hit yes, it should just relaunch BigBox because that's where you were last at. So again, it's just now that it did is done updating, it's going to launch LaunchBox for us. Not a big deal. We can come over here at the top right, close out of that. We want to close out of our file explorer. And then what I like to do is I just like to do a start refresh. So I'm just going to come to the bottom left, hit start, power, and then restart. That way it gives you a nice restart with that update. And then should launch you right back into Big Box with that update for you. And then you're ready to have fun.